Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Dota. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive. Mm-hmm. Let's crack into another oh, one. Oh, we're cracked. Yo. Well, yeah. I mean, you, <laughs> this is all you, homie. You got the, <laughs> you the driver's seat. You, we have a way we start out every podcast. Nah, TNT. if you have the topic, bro, I don't yo, say, say TNT? yo, TNT, what up? And you're like, hey, I got a topic. Do I do? Is that how we do it? You're like. We could go back in time and look yeah, at Yeah, we could. You're all back. like, hey, anyway. yo, 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 right, right, what so, up? It's your yeah, boy. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 TNT. <laughs> nah, I'm right here. And all right. We are d- doing it up. All right, look. So the real, 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 real thing is that uh, aliens. Four reels, holy shit! So aliens have been existing. They're real. All right. Yep. All right, but not in the sense of maybe like little green men from another planet. I mean, they might be green. I have to I have to I have to preface preface this with a caveat of uh, that there was a congressional hearing where yes. where a. Uh, a high-ranking intelligence official who actually participated in some of the programs that were uh, dealt directly with these extraterrestrial, which I, I, extraterrestrial and the, and the uh, the vehicles that they they uh, reside in was uh, there. There was a pilot that was in the uh, recent Tic Tac video, and there was another gentleman who was a part of the military. <laughs> Tic Tacs. <laughs> I know, right? I love Tic Tacs. It happened. The Congress, the Congress heard him. AOC was there. Oh, that means it's official. Matt Gates was there. Oh, all the big names. That's super official. And they discussed. Uh, they discussed alien life. So aliens, they exist. Jonas, what do you think? What do you have to say? Uh, give me, give me, a, give me your statement. Good for them. How do you feel about knowing that aliens exist now? I'm not surprised. Can they show me the proof? Okay, so that seems Can to I be... Can I tour th- the factory? <laughs> this seems to be the general consensus. It's like, I don't know if we are going to be War of the Worlds type aliens exist where people are going to freak out and jump in their cars and... Uh, start like rushing the border. Is to that get what happened out. in more of the worlds? Uh, well, if you remember, like uh, the War of the Worlds was a radio program that was so realistic that it actually caused mass panic. Oh, I, oh, like when the original back in the day. Yeah, yeah when yeah, it talked okay. about like the alien invasions over the radio, it was a different time. Obviously, yeah, people were stupid. But I will say is that since the congressional hearing, I've seen more just more eyes on the idea and a lot of the eyes are in the memes of like nobody cares because we got a lot of shit going on yeah they're all like rent is high food is high they're like what do i give a shit about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah cool aliens is just whatever i kind of attribute to that to the fact is that we ain't really ready to i wouldn't even say ready but our minds can't really even comprehend Bro, like what the public it can't is. comprehend anything anymore. No. Like, and they're trying to put us together with aliens, things that like we don't, we can't even understand the technology. And they're like, exactly. Yeah. So to discuss some of the things that were said, I did watch the entire congressional hearing. All research two, for the podcast. Look at this. Exactly, all two hours of it. Plus, I watched a bunch of clips just to refresh myself, and I'll go over some of the the uh, the, the big talking points, at least the ones that I can remember off the top of the head. I have no no data here with me, but I can remember a lot of what it was hey. said. Truth, not facts. The uh, the gentleman who was in the Tic Tac video, the one that Tom the launch of Blink One Eighty Two let let out. Um, he says is that. He was a fighter pilot jet or jet fighter pilot. Okay. Yeah. For those who are not familiar, it was a Blink-182 guy had a video of like something showing up on camera and yeah. then they yeah. were like, yeah, that's real. Yeah. So he was a fighter a fighter pilot jet, jet fighter pilot. I don't know how you say it. All of them make sense to me at this point. He went on a boat ride. <laughs> he said that he had witnessed a black cube and a clear sphere. And he said that it happened so many times is that it became part of routine, just instruction on a daily basis to discuss if you come into contact with one of these things, what protocol to use. And that that protocol was not only at his necessarily place of uh, uh, his base, but all across the world. Man, even in like North Korea. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they know about it. They yeah. might even have one. There may uh, be a reason 
that they are a threat the way they are or that they pers- they got some like space lasers i'm just saying so uh david grush so uh so david grush the guy who was in the intelligence he he spoke on uh there are government and privatized uh entities that are taking these and uh re- deconstructing them and trying to uh unlock the uh the technology okay I can't remember the deconstruction and reconstruction something. Sounds like something France would be doing. Yeah, it does sound like something France would do. He says that he had names of people. He said that these entities uh, have been known to cause harm. He said that some of the things that he's seen that they are their weaponry is capable of is unsettling. Is or, he didn't or is describe it, exactly. it like when he like is he did, like he did not they he like not. remove your testicles or something he did not no but I assume you know like uh, I don't know maybe cattle mutilation type shit yeah type or shit. like people just get vaporized and disappear yeah, everyone yeah. who they've never found their body has just an alien just I mean I've vaporizing. heard I've heard tales of like government uh, secret weapons that like do some weird ish like sound development like heat development well they have those like, like ones that shoot those waves that supposedly like make your body fall apart or something it's like yeah. a certain like like yeah. wave frequencies that like just make your insides like just yeah that's weird right yeah it's like sound waves uh attacks exactly. it's like imagine the stuff that they don't release to the public like whoa we can't we can't we already gave you guns that's about all you get yeah and well, you can have guns because we have this well it's funny because they like Every time something new comes out to the public, the military had been using that for like a decade. Exactly. You know, it's exactly. like, oh, we got these really awesome whatever. And they're like, and now that means they got 10 times as better in the exactly. military. Yeah. And so David Gersh also says is that we've known about this technology and that we are in America and other countries across the world are in, uh, have these vehicles, these UAPs. Okay. And uh, even some of the entities that were that the organics is like how, he, how he said it. I mean, dude, I I don't know how to like it's 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 a real thing, right? Is it real? We don't know, but it's a real thing right now. I mean, he's in Congress talking about it. They're holding hearings. The guy literally was in <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's? An intelligence. I mean, you're not wrong. He was in an, like, intelligence that but dealt why is he directly to talk with about this. it now? That's the thing that I don't get. He said, man. and that's the thing I don't know. Was it that he was, like, I, I, motivation is a lot to do with everything. So I don't know if, like, I, it's hard to say. What he says, his own words, is that he felt that he made, a, he made a, uh, an oath when he was a cadet. To uphold certain uh, certain principles, yeah, and he Ocean feels that when the hell is he in this project? It wasn't yesterday, and he feels that the principles are not being upheld. It feels a lot like the government is going to take it to a misappropriations of funds because there was a lot of talk of uh, funditure expenditure uh, by the by the pen- manipulation by the Pentagon, and they even discussed. Some- God damn it. <laughs> Even discuss was it some... Obama who did that? I did, mean, he, yeah. did he misappropriate the budget? I don't know if what it was him. What was Gersh in there? If he's holding up his goddamn oath, it's 2023. It sounds like this happened like not yesterday. So it took him 10 years to feel bad about this it? This has been happening since the 30s. So why is he feeling bad about it now? He hasn't been alive since the 30s. Yeah, but he's been alive since the 20s. Exactly. Now you make a valid argument when you say what what are his real motivations? Because he makes it sound altruistic as anybody would when they're trying. Oh, to, he's making money. He's right when they're book. trying to hide something. So my ideals are maybe he was being cut out of certain things that were going to maybe uh, be profitable to him and maybe he's like all right well i'll expose everybody oh. and he went through the proper protocol to become a whistleblower he signs the proper document so he doesn't get jail time because essentially he oh he is, NDA'd. he is exposing government secrets oh he probably has to end he's under some ndas he had to like work around yeah, and then yeah. he's like he's like listen i it just happens to be about aliens i want to report tax fraud on the government for yeah. misappropriating their budget just happens to be about aliens so let's do it exactly and aoc's like i love eating the rich let's eat them up you know but i just want to reassure people that if you feel like you have seen something strange there is a actual chance now 
that we know that that chance that that could have been something. Uh, another description of a vehicle where some uh, like a, uh, a all white cylinder, perfectly smooth. Okay, had the ability to move in uh, as the uh, the pilot had what described it. What was the it. girth of this all white I, I cylinder? Don't, I, I don't, I'm not sure, but <laughs> what it was, was the length of this all white cylinder. <laughs> it's funny because they described it as a tampon. Really, <laughs> it was. It's pretty funny that you just say that. And there was one other description of the vehicle, which was a. Uh, a giant red cube or square and it was the size of a football field that's a lot that's what i'm saying man that sounds um, that sounds huge how do we not see it it sounds it, it's like the movie nope it's hidden in the clouds bro and i've seen some stuff lately that has been a little like people are like starting to look for like things because we are aware of it we're going to look more and because we have all the media awareness the brings. Yeah. yeah so yeah. there's definitely a government like uh they're definitely trying to disenfranchise people not disenfranchise but discredit discredit people who come across with this because it sounds crazy i feel crazy talking about it yeah i mean i think you're crazy thank you i appreciate that but i want to leave with a quote jonas can uh -oh. I leave with a quote? can i leave with a is this quote? from benjamin franklin it's not okay all right a person jonas a person is smart but people are dumb they're panicky, dangerous animals. Right. And you know it. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody thought the Earth was flat. I mean, people and still 15, do, Kyrie. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that humans were alone on this planet. Imagine what you'll know tomorrow. Oh, ish. There's so, corruption in the stock market. I'm just saying is that we don't know shit. And to think that you know shit... You're crazy. Yeah, I'm smart enough to know that I don't know anything. So never, never, never realizes that there may be things that we can't even understand out there. And just have an open mind. You know, if we find out it's fake, good. If we find out it's real, good. Yeah, I want, I want to investigate it all. All right, man. Yeah. So I don't know, man. So let us know what you think over here in the crazy town. What do you think? Are you a believer now? I've, I've, I've been a believer for a long time, my man. I wouldn't say that I'm like necessarily like, you know, jumping out the window like aliens. Yeah, but I've been a jumping believer for a long time. Jumping out the window, time. aliens. Yeah, I like that. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not like a conspiracy theorist, but I'm like, come on. We, we look, we I've known for a long time that we can't be unique. The fact that we exist means something else exists. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Like, one of my favorite uh, a lot of we did was about the Fermi Paradox. Exactly. So. And I, I'm 100% believing that there's like other life out there or right here. So, I, the fact that we exist, there's a lot of routes to life. I can't yeah. believe that this is the only one. You know? No, no. I agree. I agree. So, anyways, that's all the time we have to go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. CNT. We out. Uh